Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing today? Let's get our handyman, nerd man on and fix something. I got my Democratic hat, as usual. Hardcore Democrat here. Uh, just kidding. Uh, I'm going to show you how I fix this. Um, an engine, a small engine, very similar to this one. Uh, if it only runs on uh, starter fluid or spraying, squirting gas in the carburetor, this is your fix for that if it you know it won't, won't idle it seems like it wants to run but it won't idle it's being super annoying obviously and you need to get stuff done i fixed uh this on a uh, pressure washer very similar engine all you got to do is uh, use a half inch wrench or socket and take this uh jet off that holds the float bowl on this carburetor let me zoom in a little it's a dirty, nasty, black, dark mess here. This one's kind of hard to get off. It kind of rubs up against the engine there, but it's just held on like that. And there's your float. There's other clips that show you how to do this, but uh, I figured I'd contribute and get the good, good word out. Um, so you got this jet off, and here it is. It looks pretty simple, but if I can, if I can focus here. There is a tiny, tiny little hole right there. See that booger? That sucker's only like 25 thousandths or so hole. And that's what clogs up. So, if you can use uh, in a, another clip on that home light chainsaw, I use some guitar string that's only like 17 thousandths. But if you can find a needle that's 20, 25 thousandths, or uh, something better, you know, bigger. Some of these little, like, push pins are, they're a little too fat, but they might get the job done just fine. Like, they'll start poking through there and uh, sew a machine needle. But this thing, the one I fixed on the pressure washer was very similar. Instead of having one tiny hole, it had two tiny holes, ver uh, horizontal holes, like a through hole, and then a vertical hole about the same size that met them, met up with them in there. Uh, this one's different, it's real big, open right here, like almost a quarter inch, not quite that big. And uh, you can see, now, once again, like, like on that home light chainsaw, you won't be able to see what it is you're clearing out, but you'll feel it. You'll feel it with that needle, push it through. And you can see this crap on here. See that? It's probably some build up junk like that, so everybody's heard it preach, don't use the ethanol gas, use the pure. And if it gets, hey, I use, I'm not afraid to use the 93 octane as well. But anyway, put it all back together and hopefully it'll run. Um, what else would it say? Um, yeah, and obviously, last but not least, it won't hurt to uh, use one of these uh, shutoff valves on these kind of engines where it's got the uh, a fuel line running from the tank to the carburetor. If you can squeeze one of those in there, go for it. And then you can winterize these things, or anytime it's not, you're not going to be using it, shut, fire it up, shut that valve off, and run it till it stops and uh, this one's pretty tight so you might have to that bow might have to be pointing downwards whatever however you can get it on there because this air this air filter might be in the way on this model but they probably don't make these anymore i don't know but um, yeah definitely won't hurt go for it and hopefully that'll prevent some of this annoying headache crap of these things not wanting to run gumming up and deposits and all so Anyway, also if you want to, um, if you ever have an engine set off of a machine like this and want to set it up like I've got it, all you got to do is grab a scrap piece of wood. You see how small that scrap piece of wood is and drill a 5 8 hole for the shaft and it'll balance, stay set up pretty good like that. That's about it. Hope that helps somebody out and bear with me. One of the best 
new heavy metal songs, in my humble opinion. Oh, just a 